So we're sure about this? I mean, obviously the mathematics work out. Yes, and therefore it is possible. As long as Einstein, Rosen, Thorne, Morris, Hawking, and countless others, and most importantly, we are correct in our hypothesis. Imagine what they would think they were able to see all that we've achieved. Dr. Graham's discovery of manufacturing exotic matter pushes once purely theoretical notions so much closer to the realm of testable hypothesis. Tell me this can't be real. Of course not. Greg, I'm serious. Think through it and tell me this can't be real. Okay. So if they were technically able to create and maintain a traversable wormhole, maybe. Is that possible? Theoretically. They would not only have to create a large enough traversable wormhole, but they would have to electrically age one side of it. But yeah, it's possible. They might actually be from the future. We're from the future. Great Scott, that works. It works. You know what we've got to do. The Heisenberg's uncertainty principle allows for matter and antimatter to form and annihilate, an event that some consider to be the contributing factor of the wave property of the quantum of space-time. This is what is being referred to as the quantum foam. The matter-antimatter creation and annihilation that is occurring within space-time warps it, spontaneously creating wormholes, but ones too small and short-lasting to really be of any consequence. Yes, you have stable, and from all the tests we can tell that it's your school. Then we've got to do it. It's a once-in-a-lifetime hey, opportunity. Mark, no, no, Mark, no. Nobody's ever tried this before. Nobody's ever created a wormhole before. We don't even know how stable it is. If anything goes wrong, the wormhole could pitch off into two singularities. We'd be creating a black hole which would wreak havoc on our galaxy. Whoa, that's heavy. But come on, nothing's gonna go wrong with the exotic matter. I mean, if this works, gosh, it could be bigger than the heliocentric theory. You know, you kind of look like Marty McFly. Yeah? Wait, you mean the guy from Back to the Future? Back to the what? 